Hey everybody, I'm Alex, otherwise known as Victory for Phil, and this is the first part of our robotics tutorial series on Doge CV. Now, for this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to install Doge CV into your FTC app. So, first thing you want to do is go to the link in our description, or just go to our GitHub, uh, github.com forward slash GTHS Robotics, go to Doge CV, and you want to go ahead and click clone or download and download that zip. Now while that's downloading, we're going to talk about OpenFTC, which for this tutorial we're going to be using as our example FTC app. But keep in mind, all the steps in this tutorial series, besides for importing project, are going to be the exact same for the official FTC app, any other FTC apps, or your existing robot code, if you already have one set up. So for this, we're just going to be downloading OpenFTC. OpenFTC is an open sourced version of the FTC app that adds a whole bunch of awesome features. I may be doing a tutorial series on it later since I'm a big fan of it. Okay, so once we have these two zip files downloaded, Doge CV and our robot app, you want to go ahead and extract these two a folder. Uh, if you already have your robot app, I just recommend putting Doge CV next to it, kind of like you yeah, like an FTC folder. Okay, and while that's extracting, we're going to be going into a tour of the Doge CV repository. Now, Doge CV on GitHub comes with the Doge CV library, OpenCV, which Doge CV uses, and an examples directory that has example op modes for all our directors, all our detectors, and all of these are plug and play. You can drop these, as you'll see later on, into your app, and they'll just work as op modes. Now, if you want a little bit more of an extensive example, we do have all our robotics code open source this year, including our current in competition robots. Um, if you go to our Grand Terrace High School Robotics GitHub, we have RoarXD, which is the name of our bot, pinned to the top. You can go in and click that and kind of navigate through team code and see our autonomous, to see all our code. For example, in this, we're using Jewel Detector with Fiforia. So if you're having trouble with that, this may be a fun example to look at. And this is also constantly being updated anytime we do like crypto blocks and stuff. So, as seen by the happy beep in the background, all of our files have extracted and we can go ahead and close our zip files and every other folder I have open. And we can go to an open Android Studio. Now, again, if you already have an app, you just wanna open it up and get ready. In this case, it's a brand new fresh app, so we're gonna go to import project. And we already have it opened for us, so we're gonna click open. And let that build. We'll be back when this is finished opening. Okay, so we're back. This is important. It didn't take too long. So, you're into your robots app. So now you want to do is go to File, New, Import Module, click the little browse button, and find where you downloaded the Doge CV from GitHub. You want to click the folder. You want to click Open CV Library 320. You want to click OK. Finish. Now, while that's importing, you want to do File, New, Import Module, click the browse button, and now click the Doge CV folder. Click File, Finish, you can ignore that warning. It works fine. And let that build. Now, to make sure this is working, we're just gonna drag and drop those examples that I provided. So let's do Control C, go to our app, go to our team code, click all the folders, and drop it in. And you should see all the op modes dropped in. And once Gradle has finished importing all of the settings, you should see all these red errors go away. Ah, I did forget a crucial step. Now, you're going to right-click your team code folder, open module settings, dependencies, make sure you have team code selected, add module dependency, add OpenCV, and add DogeCV. You're going to click OK, and let it build. Now, if you get any errors, uh, for example, it's saying like it can't find crypto box detector, you're gonna go to your module settings and just make sure for team code under dependencies you have these two things added. Order shouldn't matter, but in this case, CV is in front of Doge CV. So that Gradle builds running, all the crypto box detectors have been found, and we're gonna go ahead and do a quick test build to make sure this works. So we'll see you when that's built. Okay, so as you can see on our screen, the phone has actually built no errors and now we can go ahead and run the doge cv jewel detector op mode under autonomous go ahead and click play and should see it if everything works it pop up here now in this case we're using the jewel detector which by the way i do recommend because it's 
actually really works well, as you can see. And if everything works, you should see a Doge CV working. You can see at the bottom of our screen the result is the last correct result we have, and the current track is what it currently sees. And yeah, now you, congratulations, you have Doge CV installed. Now in the next tutorial series, we're actually going to go into how to use the jewel detector. Now, quick tip, if you want to see kind of debug information about the app and what it's doing behind the scenes, if you tap the screen, you can see the different masks they use. In this case, it's really good, so good job on Levi for his color masks. Okay, so we're going to see in the next tutorial on how to use the jewel detector.